Agent Venom. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. And guess what? We're back at it again with another amazing, marvelous, stupendous, record-breaking action review. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold the applause. Hold the applause. Okay, so today we are taking a look at Agent Venom. Mr. Agent Venom right here. If you guys have been watching my channel, then you know I picked him up in my big... Uh, action well well one of my action figure hauls I don't know if it was my big action figure haul but I got him loose I bought him off the internet uh, he is a pretty well he's not expensive somewhat somewhat expensive figure to find uh, that's one of the reasons why I bought him loose because if you buy him in package he's depending on where you look you know his average price is like around 60 70 dollars some more some less it just depends but he's one of the rare, like, Marvel select uh, figures to find, if that makes any sense. Not rare, but expensive. Rare and expensive, but like I said, if you go on the internet, I'm sure you can find him. Um, and if uh, you get him for, like, around 20 or under 30, then that's pretty much a steal. So, let's review this Marvel select Venom and I'm pretty excited guys because I'm building up my Marvel Select collection and this is one of the figures that I wanted to add to my collection So if you guys have been watching my channel, you know, I've done top 10 Marvel Legends uh, of all time I'm pretty satisfied with the Marvel Legends that I've collected since then. I'm pretty I'm still satisfied with that countdown uh, You know, maybe in the near future. I'll revise it. Maybe add like a top 20 Marvel Legends countdown uh, not legends, but Marvel Select. If I say Legends, just know I meant Select, because I'm going I'm going to mess it up sooner or later. Because I had Legends and Select, I've done it numerous times throughout my videos where I've mixed up those names. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, Agent Venom. So this is pretty much what he uh, comes with right here is the base that he's standing on, which is not bad. Uh, Mar Agent Venom 2, the Marvel Legends version, is pretty pricey as well. So if you could find him for cheap, uh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So Agent Venom is a pretty sought-after figure. And there is his pad. <laughs> his pad. But it just kind of pops into there. It's kind of loose, so you have to be careful. Like I said, it's it, this figure has been uh, on display, and I'm sure it's been played with as well. Um... So we'll take a look at the figure, and then we'll take a look at the base himself. We'll take we'll take a look at the articulation. So his guns are removable, so you can take out uh, this gun right here. So here is the gun from uh, Agent Venom, which you can put into his hand, this hand right here, which goes nicely. I feel it's a little bit too small for Agent Venom. And then he has a pistol right here, which pops out like a, a 45, Colt 45 maybe, or <laughs> I'm not really for sure. I'm not familiar with guns. <laughs> a Magnum? I have no idea. The guns kind of look a little bit too small on this character. They look nice. I always thought Agent Venom would be, you know, packing a little bit more. But overall, very, very nice. Uh, nice gun holsters. And if you're looking at the discoloration, it's not, it's actually meant to be that way. So it's meant to be like a, a varnish, like black and gray. Like they put like a gray over this black. So he's meant to look like that. As far as articulation goes, his head somewhat turns. It's a little stiff. It doesn't move up and down. Uh, his shoulder pads, of course, are articulated, which is good, so you can get his arms outwards like that. He does have an upper break at the bicep. He does have a hinge at the elbow. Um, it doesn't turn. It just turns at the upper bicep. He does have a break here at the upper chest or upper, upper torso. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much what you're going to get. He has rotation in it as well. He also has a... a uh, pfft, my god waist rotation as well 
His legs are on a ball joint, so they can swivel. He can kick up about eh, that much. You don't want to force it because it does seem kind of a little loose, but yeah. And you got to be careful with these ball joints because this is an older Marvel Select figure. And those ball joints are not really that sturdy. Uh, Knees-wise, as far as he goes... So far as he goes, ankle uh, movement, no pivoting, because this is an older Marvel Select figure. And it's probably why it's so rare, too, is because I don't know how old this figure is, but it's not new. It's been around for a while. <laughs> so we'll put his gun back into his holster. The detail is pretty, pretty awesome. Let me come in close, guys, so you can see the detail for this Marvel Select uh, Agent Venom. Very nicely done. It does have a very, very Spawn-esque um, detail to it. You know what I mean? Being that Todd McFarlane created Spawn, and Spawn was kind of an agent himself, you know, maybe they stole an idea. Maybe Marvel stole an idea from Todd McFarlane. But overall, great detail. Uh, I've always loved Marvel Select because I love the solid and sturdiness of these figures. And the detail as well. They have amazing detail, especially for the price point as well. And we'll put... Agent Venom over here. Here is his base. I don't really know what's going on with his base. Just a whole lot of mechanics and tubing and pieces of who knows what. Let's see. Oh, 2012. So I don't know if this was from 2012. The base says 2012. So yeah, it's a possibility that it was from 2012. So yeah, I, I can I can I can see that. It's maybe six years old. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, well, 7 years old. It's 2000, 2019 right now if you're watching this review. So, yeah, I can see that it's a 2012. So, and that's probably why it's so rare is because it's an older Marvel uh, select figure. Um, so, yeah. Really, really like this Marvel select. I really, really like the detail. Love the gun. Wish it was a little bit bigger. Love the Venom. Uh, back piece right here. Very, very awesome piece. Simplistic yet effective. That's my saying. Simplistic but yet effective. The detail is really, really nice. And then add too much white on it. And the gray, like dry brushing over the black. They did a, a really, really amazing job with this Marvel uh, Select Agent Venom. So let's measure him, guys. And I'll give you my rating of this Marvel Select Agent Venom. Okay, so he stands... Um, just at seven and a half inches tall. So he's a big boy. He's a pretty, pretty big boy. Um, on a scale from one to ten, with ten being the highest, guys, I really, really love this Marvel Select Agent Venom, man. I think, you know what? Uh, because of how vintage he is, because he's so sought after, because he has a really, really nice design, and it's been seven years later, and the design still holds up. Um, and it's still very well nice, very well detailed after all these years. So I'm going to give it a solid nine, guys. I think that's how awesome this figure is. I really, really like the detail. They did an amazing job. I can see why this uh, figure is very sought after and very expensive to, well, expensive to us, us common toy collectors you know um i'm sure there's other toy collectors out there who have a lot more money than me um and so they had no problem spending you know 60 70 dollars on the action figure but me no i don't <laughs> that 60 70 dollars can go towards paying one of my bills <laughs> But yeah, overall, great Agent Venom, guys. I definitely recommend this in your Marvel Select collection. If you have a Marvel Select collection, if you don't, I still recommend them. Uh, if you love Spawn figures, if you love Venom figures like I do, I definitely think you should add him to your collection because he's very, very, very awesome, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. If you guys like this review, hit the like button, comment, 
Uh, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool reviews like this. And tell me what you guys think of this Agent Venom. Do you guys like them? Are you going to pick them up? What do you think? So there you guys have it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!